Guten tag, y'all. Welcome back to another episode of the California series. It is now episode 10. 10, I tell you, it's number 10. And today we are going back to like literally the same place we went yesterday. Only that we're taking a tour of downtown. Yes, everybody, we're going to downtown San Diego to go just explore. We got another tour, like that LA tour. We got another tour scheduled. So that's about four hours, and hopefully the bus is air conditioned or car. They change any time. Just hope they are air conditioned to an appropriate level that I can withstand. And after, we're going to a little place called Seaport Village. It is probably the best thing in San Diego to do. It's on the seaside, and then there's a lot of different shops you can go to. Of course, I had one in mind, but I don't know what it's called. Exactly, what are you thinking? Gotta kick this rock back. Kick. All right, it's in. All right, everybody, let's get a move on. Uh, see you there. Uh, I know you've been through the drive before in San Diego a few times, so I guess I'll just see you there. I mean, I'll probably just do a couple of side things, you know? We'll get there eventually. Well, eventually, it's it's another beautiful day, cloudless, and the fire stayed back, so we're good. All right, catch you later. Just in the morning, there's a lot of trucks just like that cold. It had rain here now. Oh yeah. <laughs> Can't brush your teeth. Then it gets hot to take showers. We made it to San Diego downtown. We are waiting for the bus, 30 minutes approximately. They are not here yet because they're tired. And then we'll get on the bus, I believe, and then we go. And I really want to ride that scooter. It's quiet this morning. Where we go is in this van. Actually, the train station was built uh, to bring people for the grand opening of Balboa Park for the 1915 Panama California World's Expo. This is Harbor Drive. This is the road that takes you to the airport and also kind of circles the uh, outskirts of the downtown area. That um, sailboat that you see out there, that's uh, part of the Maritime Museum. Um, that's the Star of India. It's a ship that's over 150 years old and it's still seaworthy. They take it out once a year. And um, if there was a cruise ship, this is the cruise ship terminal, it would be parked right here. And over here were these boats, huh? This is where you would take a, a harbor cruise, you go whale watching, you can take the ferry over to Coronado. But one of the biggest attractions right now in San Diego is the USS Midway, aircraft carrier number 41, that was commissioned in 1944 and then decommissioned in 92 and brought here as a museum in 2004. Now, I don't know if there's an uh, aircraft carrier over there, but if you could put one of the newer ones next to this one, it would almost look small. And. Um, there's a new addition to this area, the Unconditional Surrender Statue. And that is uh, the statue of a picture that came out in Life Magazine, I believe, at the end of the war. And uh, it's interesting that they, we had a statue almost exactly like this one, maybe about 10 years ago. And everybody thought, this is perfect, you know, to go with this area. And we had it for, I don't know, about six months, and then it was gone. And everybody goes, where's our statue? 
Well, it turns out that that statue belonged to Florida, and they mm -hmm. took it back. And we're going to Florida, so thanks to the Midway, they raised $1 million and had our own created. So if you like, I'd like to give you about 10 minutes here if you haven't been in this area. You can take pictures. This is one large statue, if I could say myself. So you gotta get a picture with me and my mother. A national salute to Bob Hope and the military. He is very big here in San Diego, and if we have any former or present members of the military, thank you for your service. With five naval bases, the Navy employs more people in San Diego than any other company, private or government. And the biggest one is in Coronado, and it's Naval Air Station North Island, what they call the birth of naval aviation. This is, uh, in the area in the back here, is known as Seaport Village. And that was actually one of the first uh, places, like, in regards to amusement that was built here in downtown. But if somebody didn't take you by the hand and actually walked in the back, you had no idea what's there because none of this looks like it looks now. Mary go around that is so beautiful. The maker insists that they be indoors because um, of how it's elaborate the, the horses are. Mm -hmm. And you can come over here in the back and have picnics. If you came by a yacht, you can station your yacht back here. And um, right now during the summer, the San Diego Symphony has concerts on weekends. <laughs> that is the Kansas City Barbecue and that's where they filmed the scene where John Cruz and his friend are playing the piano. And the owner says that they kept them open because his food's good, not because Tom Cruise was there. But um, because when they filmed the movie, none of this looked like it looks now. And now there's a children's discovery museum down here in downtown where you see the palm trees over here to the left because the majority of our museums are housed over here in the Balboa Park. Our convention center is a big part of the redevelopment. Um, it was built <coughs> in 1987. And one of the first big name hotels to come to downtown was the Miriam Marquis that used to be the Intercontinental. <laughs> How much is there? Like $14? No. That convention started here in San Diego. It's become one of the biggest international conventions in the world. And if we don't make our convention center bigger, we might lose it to Los Angeles or Las Vegas. They want to get their hands on it real bad. Right now it's really quiet because at night this place lights up. So busy that they passed an ordinance. You cannot park on 5th Avenue after 8 o'clock on, on weekends. That children and you can still see the game from there. Small. Hey, from the Mexican border all the way up to Canada. Now, uh, we're going to be going on that bridge and before they built that bridge, uh, popular way and st still to this day to get to Coronado is by Ferry Beach, which is our last coastal community. Miles long, and it was designed to be one of the first buildings without any suspension. But when they first built the bridge, it was a toll bridge, unless you lived in Coronado. Now Coronado is a community that is within the county of San Diego. So the city of San Diego's population is about 1.3 million, not only they are, they're all part of the county of San Diego. The whole county of San Diego has uh, a bit over 3 million, so we're the nation's eighth largest city and the state's second largest. And here if you look to the left, you can see that piece of land. 
Welcome to the most famous hotel ever, Hotel Del Coronado, or in English, the Coronado Hotel. Very nice here. It is absolutely beautiful here. Look at this. You have the pool down there, you got turf over there, and you got the Pacific Ocean. Do your penny while you're right here. Alright, let me do the penny. Walking into the hotel. Oh my gosh. This is like one of the most expensive hotels in America. Let's see what they have at that gift shop they have. I could buy my mom a nice fleece, but it cost $130. Walking out of the hotel in style, and it feels much cooler out here. I know. Stop here and start playing golf, I guess I guess. I mean, I, I didn't realize most golf courses are fenced off, I guess. And um, trees. you notice some of our trees also have where the bark has turned completely black. I think of the Shakespeare Theater. And it's the pride and joy of San Diego. It's been called one of the best parks in the world. And also it's home to the San Diego Sea. I don't know why they made it legal here in California for motorcycles. It's the beautiful fountain that you can walk in. <laughs> My, this is a beautiful botanical garden. And the number one attraction of this park, the California Tower.
the Joy Pine State Park, the golf course are down further down that way, and the South Institute. So these are dormitories for the university over here to the left. And there's the Hoya Shore, that's the name of the beach here. We're going to be going across over there to downtown. Haley Comet, you know, hysteria. Mm -hmm. The 20 minutes also here. Because it's a very small area, but you see how, how busy it is. <laughs> yes. But if you want to go down there, you can. I'm going to stay up here. You want to go in the gift shop? This is. Now my favorite smell. The beautiful. The beautiful, definitely. <laughs> Look, it's a pelican. Uh, too many pelicans. So many pelicans. Rose near the ocean was discovered by a student of Cornell University and he named it after his professor John told him. But when I first started doing tours I wanted to know where it was and people would just point out anything. Oh, that's true. There were no animal rights groups, but in the 70s, um, they were sued for trying to relax that little area, right? <coughs> That's the thing we were listening to. Welcome to Mexico, I guess. Oh, okay. And did the LA tour. It was an eight hour tour. Really? That's that was nice. You get to see, you know, everything. the right observatory is. right oh. down to the crazy Chinese. Uh -huh. La Jolla and Rosecrans and mm -hmm. Point Loma and all that stuff. Yeah, it's a beautiful, beautiful there. The thing. Midway, yeah. you know, we did all that. You know. Yeah, because some people try to plan too many things. So yeah. The trip and you're exhausted. We liked Oceanside last time. Uh -huh. And that's where his aunt is originally from. I think that people refuse to sell this whole town and this little building. Oh, so it's more like a cable car trolley? Yes, uh-huh. Yes. What color is it? It's red. And that's okay. the only one that's going to go on this. Place. And that'll bring us right to Amtrak. Right, uh-huh. Awesome. And, and, that's, and that's 250 Yeah, 250 for, for person one. you got to pay at that little... I'd say that was a very interesting oh, okay. tour. Went to the Kansas City Barbecue. Trying a little something different at the Kansas City Barbecue because that's all they had. This is the piano used in Top Gun. If you don't know what that movie is, you should be ashamed of yourself. Very nice piano though. I can definitely say this is nicer than the tea and a lot more cleaner. Just gotta wait for our train. A few more minutes.
Is this right? Because right here, right now, we got flash flood warning. San Diego, that's where we are. Flash flood warning. Just get on the train already. La siguiente estación, Santa Fe Depot. Para trolis línea azul, cruce Kepner Boulevard a América Plaza. Amtrak. Santa Fe Depot is next. I'm just gonna end this episode right here. I'm gonna get pizza. I'm just gonna get a little pizza for dinner, and then that's it for today. Thank you for watching the 10th episode of the California series. Please make sure to subscribe if you are not a subscriber of the channel yet and are a big follower of my channel. And make sure to like this video because 10 episodes of the series is pretty cool. Have a great night, everybody. See you tomorrow with another good episode.